You know, some people sound great no matter where they sing. It's opera night at the Community Hall in Nemeo, Alberta. Tonight's featured artists, Ron and Diane Nelson. This operatic duo first teamed up while studying at the Royal Conservatory of Music in Toronto. They performed with the Stratford Festival and toured with the Canadian Opera Company. Diane was a regular on television shows like Wayne and Schuster and Juliet. For the folks who live in this farming community north of Edmonton, tonight's concert is a welcome escape from their workday world. Tomorrow, they'll be back to the barns and tractors once more. Did you ever see that litter with the, the sound of those five pounders? No. And that yeah, goes for Diane and Ron, too. Great. Yeah. We got three gilts in there that should have fared yesterday. Go and have a look. They trade evening clothes for coveralls and head for the hog barn. The Nelsons gave up full-time music careers about 27 years ago when they got married. How are you doing, baby? Oh, aren't you? Yeah. Ron brought day. Diane from Toronto to the farm where he grew up. Going from Puccini to pork chops was quite a change, but neither of them has any regrets. We're going to have some babies today. Was it a painful decision, a difficult decision for you? No, it was painful to leave my home and my family and my friends in Toronto, but no, not at all. I jumped in with both feet. <laughs> I think those kind of decisions are probably easier when you're younger. When you start thinking about settling down and uh, perhaps raising a family, you see the the problems or the difficulties of stability in, in that showbiz life. A year or two after, <clears throat> we got married, we're living out here, and we got a phone call from Lou Applebaum, who had conducted our tour from Stratford to New York, and they were doing a North American tour, wanted to know if we'd join them. And we, of course, <laughs> Diane was pregnant, and I was up to here in a job, and we had to say no. And so that... We were the, sorry, but yeah, that would, those that, have been the decisions. <laughs> They both work on the farm, but the hog barn is mostly Ron's domain. He feeds his 900 pigs and cleans their pens twice a day. And once in a while, this pig farming Pavarotti serenades his sows. It's only second best to a shower to sing in the barn with all that wood around. It's, uh, <laughs> you feel like you're Caruso. And that's a nice audience. Yeah, and an attentive audience, mm -hmm. yes. Do they really like it? Oh, yeah. Pigs? Oh, they really do, yeah. Se vuol ballare, signor Contino, se vuol ballare, signor Contino. Get the heads come up. This is that neat. You uh, give him a little song yourself. Sure. Sing? Yeah, sure. Oh, well, uh, um, uh, home, home on the farm, where the pigs are happy all day. Like that, but more voice, more voice. Voice. Oh, voice. Where seldom is heard. Ooh, you don't like that at all. No, no, that doesn't um, work. Uh, maybe how about a singing lesson? Yeah, think that would help. Yeah, singing lesson. Oh, join them. No, no. If a lesson would help, this is certainly the right place to be. Diane is also a voice teacher. Now I realize how many people are afraid to use their own voices, just to use them. It feels good, you know, to... And some people are, are really embarrassed about their own sound, and I want to encourage somebody, whatever the sound is, to just do it.
you know, for your own good feeling and mental health and, you know. Sunrise, sunset, sunrise, sunset, swiftly. doing this type of repertoire that we know of, in, at least in this area. The, uh, the show tune type of thing, some of the old favorites, through to late opera and grand opera. Our best duet probably we ever sang. We were still going together, hadn't got married. We were up fishing for bass in the Muskoka area. Fishing all afternoon, couldn't get a darn thing. Just weren't biting. So we started singing the second act Traviata duet, Jamar and Violetta. On the lake? On the lake. And these fish started to bite. So, I mean, ho you think hogs get happy, you know, Wayne? I mean, these fish were just, we were just hauling them in. <laughs> so we kept singing, and they kept biting. overnight to sunflowers, blossoming even as we It's not Carnegie Hall, but the Nelsons have obviously found several audiences who enjoy their music. For a couple that loves to sing and to farm, what could be better? Even with 